Hello and welcome to Rubyology episode 55. This is a takeover, a yeah, takeover, a takeoff on the, the last screencast I did um, on how to apply a, a web template to Rails, Ruby on Rails, except this time we're going to do it for Wooby. So remember Wooby was the web server application that I wrote about 500 lines or less that's really really fast really lightweight it kind of reminds me of like ASP you know writing active server pages but for Ruby so so let's do that so uh, we're gonna use the same um, do you remember the same web design we found on openwebdesigns.org um, stylized I really like this one I think that's pretty cool um, but we're going to do it for a Wooby application, and you'll find that it's even simpler, if that's a word, more simple, much more better. Okay, so to do that, um, I created a directory called Demo55. Um, if we do a list, ls, there's nothing in it, so I'm taking you from scratch. Um, if you've already downloaded wooby.rb, this is the only file you need uh, to run uh, wooby. And it's, look, it's a whole 16K of uh, space there. So let's go ahead and copy this file. I'm going to drop it into uh, demo55. Um, and then I'm also going to, let's find, where is our, there we are. What we do need are uh, these tell you what, let's grab this images folder and let's grab well, let's just grab all three of these this, remember oh hang on, I should back up for those of you that didn't, that didn't catch the earlier one when you download um, this right here from uh, open uh, open web design this template you basically get a stylized um, directory this is the name of the um, of the template so it came with uh, four uh, files here so let me go ahead and grab those and then I'm going to drop them into this 55 so now we've got a couple other ones and um, I think what I'm going to do I'm going to open I am going, I'm going to create a new, I'm going to open this one, but I'm going to create a new, uh, there we go. So we got index, rhtml, and I'm going to create, I'm going to actually save this as um, index.rhtml, because we want something with some Ruby. Uh, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically uh, hack out remember we did up to uh, this post here so I'm basically gonna remove that all together and I'm gonna create a uh, new let's create just a new file I'm just gonna drop it in this this file so that's the whole top part of the template there and I'm gonna save this as um, how about I'm going to save it as header since it's kind of the top part. I'm going to call it INC. You could call this really anything. It's an include file. Uh, and then I'm going to take here this RHTML. I'm going to take this uh, bottom part like we grabbed the last time. Where did we want to grab it? Here. It was here. It was at this second to last div right there. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put, I'm going to open up another new template and I'm just going to paste that in. And I'm just going to save this one as footer. Dot include. And I think yeah, this is going to be basically um, 
That's the, that was the content there. So now we've got a blank index.rhtml and uh, we're going to use these tags here and remember the uh, Wubi everything kind of starts with a W when we want to do something so render is going to be render and it's a function here and we're going to name the file we want to pull in which was the include um, you know oh you know what hang on let's close this tag here and we want to do the same for the footer there so let's uh, make that footer let's save that you know what let's <laughs> before we get too far too crazy let's uh, run it and to run Wooby, we're going to do a ruby Wooby dot rb and then we're going to start it up as a daemon there we go so it tells us we're uh, running this on localhost port 8080 so now we'll come back to here let's see now we'll refresh this guy hey we're already running look at that we've got the header and all this we're missing the body of course we've got our, our sidebar and our footer um, so we're, we're basically done let me go ahead and uh, let's add um, let's just drop something down here and say um, hello world I came in type um, you know let's put this in um, Fifty-five. Let's save that and let's pull it up again. Let's refresh this page. Here we go. We've got our hello world and our content here. And uh, remember, Wooby. I'm just gonna. We're basically done, but I'm just kind of goofing off now. Um, remember, Wooby. You can go ahead and and do your embedded Ruby commands inside of here. You can say at uh, podcast equals Rubyology, and we can say um, at host equals Chris Matthew. Woo. And we can say, you have been uh, watching. We'll go ahead and add. That should work. Let's go ahead and save it, run it, and there we go. You've been watching Rubyology by Chris Matthew. So I hope you enjoyed this. You hopefully you also can see how fast Wooby is, um, and how easy it is to um, deploy a Wooby application. Uh, this is about um, a sixth of the time of uh, deploying my Rails app. So but then again, it's a whole lot simpler, but Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. See ya.